First tonight at 530, we're learning more about the effort that went into saving a man in Providence after a wall collapsed on him. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live in studio with more on the tools first responders use to free that man. It's new at 530. Kim? Well, Mike and Caroline, yesterday was an unusual job for Providence firefighters. They say their collapse trailer often responds to situations where a wall crumbles or a car slams into a building, but it's rare for a person to be trapped. A 47 year old man pulled from the rubble after a basement collapse in Providence Tuesday. He was buried up to his chest. Uh, initial actions freedom, uh, but we discovered that the heavy pieces of the wall were what were pinning his legs. It took dozens of firefighters 75 minutes to free that man, identified as Hugo Mercedes. Complex and risky, but it went really well. This collapsed trailer responded to the scene, outfitted with tools to aid specially trained firefighters. Yesterday was one of the first times in recent history that we had a victim trapped. First responders used the jaws of life. And they were able to lift that material off the victim. And specialized airbags. We attach air hoses from an air bottle and a regulator and we're able to raise these up. But sometimes it's a heavier lift. We'll hammer up and make T-shores and four-point vertical shores to capture the load that might be coming down on us or the victim. Those are Paratech gold struts that we use. They can support up to 80,000 pounds when they're fully seated. Equipment used not only to free and help the victim, but keep firefighters safe. It's very hard to ensure it was going to be a safe operation, and so there's a little bit of risk involved, uh, but it went well. And today we also learned the work being done inside that home was not permitted by the city and citations are being issued. We also checked with the state and they say Mercedes was not licensed or registered to do work as a contractor. OSHA tells us they are aware of the incident and are looking into it as well. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.